In this video, we will be learning about why the salts of alkali metals give different colors when they are burned in a Bunsen flame. That is, here we have the topic, coloration to the flame of the alkali, I mean shown by the alkali metals. Suppose a salt of lithium is given to you, say lithium chloride. Now, when you burn this one, say so this is your Bunsen flame, okay, you take a rod and you put a pinch of lithium chloride here. When you burn this salt of lithium in a Bunsen flame, it gives crimson red. And if you take a compound of sodium, say sodium chloride, then when you burn it in a Bunsen flame, it gives golden yellow, golden yellow color. This is for the compound of or the salt of sodium and this is for the salt of lithium. And for potassium, rubidium and cesium, their salt give violet color when they are burned in a Bunsen flame. Now, why do these metals or salts of uh, different alkali metals give different colors when they are burned in a Bunsen flame. So we will be learning that in this video. Now here, concentrate properly. Suppose we have lithium atom. Okay, let's say this is the nucleus. The atomic number of lithium is 3. So we have the first shell and the second shell. Here we have two electrons, okay? There are two electrons. One, two. And here we have one. So this is the valence electron. So this is for the lithium atom. Now what you do, here I have explained that when a salt of a lithium is burned in a Bunsen flame, it gives out crimson red flame or color okay so here i will be explaining by considering considering that this is a lithium atom so now when first of all we know that the outermost electron in alkali metals is weakly held with the nucleus that's why when you apply even a small amount of energy this valence electron will be what will be quickly excited to higher energy level so this concept you should keep in mind so suppose you are applying an energy okay to remove to kick out uh, this electron or to bring this electron to the higher energy level so you have another energy level here another shell the moment you apply energy to this valence electron this electron jumps to the higher energy state or higher energy level okay so it reaches here now it will not stay for longer time in this higher energy level it has to come back to its original position that is to this shell so the moment it comes back to its original position what happened it the absorbed energy is given out in the form of light in the form of light invisible region of the electromagnetic spectrum so that light that has been given okay that absorbed energy that has been given in the form of light invisible region of the electromagnetic spectrum that is the color that is the cream sun red shown by the compound of lithium or by the salt of lithium when it is burned in a Bunsen flame. So this same concept will be working for the compound of sodium and then the potassium, rubidium and cesium. But you have to remember that these 
elements or alkali metals have different atomic sizes. So because of that, the amount of energy absorbed by these different atoms will be different. That's why they give different colors. You will not have the same color. Like in the case of salt of lithium, we have the crimson red. For sodium, we have golden yellow. And for potassium, rubidium, and cesium, we have violet. That is why they show different colors because the amount of energy absorbed by these atoms are different. So this is all about the coloration to the flame or why do the salts of uh, alkaline metals show different colors when they are burnt in a Bunsen flame. And this type of um, test that we are doing is known as flame test. This one is the most common one that we used to do or that we are doing in the chemistry lab when we want to test whether the alkali metals are present in a given salt or compound or not. We used to do this flame test in order to test the presence of these alkali metals in a given salt. So that's all for today. Thank you.